Now we talk about summary and history of univariate time series. So first recorded quantitative trader was mathematician Thales in 620 BC. Now he used seasonality and data to buy oil futures anticipating the seasonality of demand and supply. So he knew that the prices of oil had some seasonality to it. So what he did is he rented out he got the oil presses when the price was low and then he further rented it out to other people when the price was high. So he knew the seasonality and demand and he made a lot of money uh, doing this. So this was the first trading strategy was using seasonality of demand and supply. The second thing which came was regression. Now regression was discovered by German mathematician Gauss. He is very famous. He also invented the or discovered the normal distribution. So this was discovered around 1800 and this is precisely what is used for finding trend. Populations were generally stable for a long time and uh, you can say that generally your increase in sales is because of increase in population or consumption of any one commodity which keeps on increasing over time is probably because of population. So after industrial revolution happened, the populations were growing and demand was increasing. So you could also fit in these trends. So we have two deterministic things now. One was seasonality, which was used in BC. The second was regression, which came around 1800s. So now when people talked about deterministic data, they talked about trend, which was increasing. So something like this, you have seasonalities but you also have an upward trend because the population is increasing and the seasonality also remains there. Now the third part which is modern day time series its story starts with Colmo Grove. He put probability on firm foundation in 1933. So probability was being used before 1933 but there was no proper mathematical foundation for it. So Colmo Grove introduced everything like sigma fields and filtration etc to put probability on firm foundation and the single variable time series were then studied in late 1960s and early 1970s so this was the story which we have covered till now and after this lecture we are going to move on to multivariate time series so till now we were only worried about single variable time series or univariate time series these multivariate time series were studied in late 1980s and they are still an area of research. Now let us just quickly summarize what we know. So you have data coming into you. So you can call this data as time series but that is uh, not correct formulation. So you can say any data coming in time is time series. That is just English. That is not uh, correct mathematical formulation. So you have some data. Now in this data there are three models hiding. So the first model is seasonality. So you take seasonality out. Then the second model is trend. So these two are deterministic models. And once you take seasonality out and trend out, the third model is just stochastics. And here you fit in time series. So notice that the stochastic part did not even come till 1933. These two were known to us and seasonality was known since BC. So now what you do for prediction, you have to predict three, mo three models. You predict M1, you predict M2, you predict M3, then you add. And then you get your final prediction. And we also talked about for the stochastic model, you do not talk about prediction because it could be anywhere prediction does not give you anything concrete. What you want is you want to con construct a probability distribution for M3. So for M3 you want probability distribution. And then what you predict here you add to this distribution to get a new distribution for prediction. And uh, that is the summary and uh, history of uh, univariate time series.